The Peristatal employs about 1,600 workers, and if everything goes according to management's plans, nearly 1,000 of these employees will be jobless. The National Union of Namibian Workers and the Namibia Transport and Allied Workers Union strongly condemn this. I'm surprised that the Nami board is firing the workers instead of those who are mismanaging the company. We condemn those plans and we are asking the board of Transnami to reconsider that negative plan. With great respect, we are also calling the head of state comrade, His Excellency Comrade Fikapinya Bohamba, to intervene as well as our Minister of Labour. Proper procedures in terms of the labour law were, according to Natal, also not followed by Transnamib in starting off their intended job cut process. We have stopped that process of, uh, of uh, continuing with the consultation until all the procedure, like to give us notification, and the requirement of the law are met. Because the requirement of the Labour Act is saying that we must indicate how many employees are going to be affected position they were held in the company, uh, age group as well, and the salary structure which they've been, how much they were being paid. All of these things is not being done. But if you look at the copy, the, 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 what? the statement in the Namibian yesterday, one of the management have confirmed saying that Natal is uh, negotiating. It, that is a, a, a misplacing of the, the fact, simple because even the invitation which they sent to the, the senior so that they are sitting there, it is stating that they are consulting. They were not being called for the negotiations. The unions are also standing up against alleged plans for the company to outsource their work to private companies. Yet again, Transnamib's management did not respond to the News on One's request for comment. Franchu Olafir reporting for the news on one.